This is Risa McKenzie, Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor with the QuickBooks Accountant Time Saving Trick. How to create a report that shows which invoices multiple payments were applied to, also known as a cash application report. The easy way to quickly see where a check was applied is to highlight the check in a list and then press Control H. Now this opens the transaction history box. I really like this handy little box because you can do a couple of cool things from here. You can open the original transaction by selecting the Edit Payment button. You can also go to one of the invoices here by pressing the Go To button. And the other thing you can do is to print a report. And here is that report all nicely formatted and ready to be sent out. But what if you need to see multiple payments at the same time? There is not a pre-designed report in QuickBooks for this situation, but I'm going to show you how you can quickly create one. Now there are two reports in QuickBooks that will show the link between transactions, and we can find those under the Banking section of the Reports menu. They are the Deposit Detail and the Check Detail Report. And we are going to modify the check detail report to get what we need. In QuickBooks Accountant 2012, the Modify Report button has been renamed to Customize Report, so I'm going to click that. And the first step is to scroll down the columns and select the Paid Status and Pay Method. Next I'm going to click the Filters tab, and I am going to change the Account Filter to all accounts. I'm going to remove the amount filter. I'm going to change the date filter to the date range that I need. I'm going to change the transaction type to payment. Then I'm going to change the detail level to all except summary. And the final step is to choose the name of the customer that I need this information for. Now I'm going to remove the account column and the item column because I don't need those. Now there are some limitations and drawbacks to this report. The deposit that the payment is linked to is also going to show up on this report. And the invoice line items are going to show. So if you're using more than one item on an invoice, you're going to see multiple entries. And you also cannot see the invoice total. The total that is listed on the report is irrelevant, as all it is doing is adding the invoice line items plus the deposit entry together. So that number really wouldn't mean anything. And if you have one check that is applied to multiple jobs, there is going to be more than one entry for that check listed. Now let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. So here we have the lion bold is going to be our check, and the information below is going to be the linked transaction. So you can see here the deposit line is there. Now let's scroll down to a payment that has multiple applications. So here this check was applied to a bunch of invoices. You know, it does not total the invoice. And the reason I had you add the paid status is because you can at least quickly see if an invoice has been partially paid this down here, the line detail, will say unpaid. And then you will want to memorize this report. So I did notice in QuickBooks and Accountant 2012, once you memorize a report, it's going to rename the header. So I've already done it on this one, but I'm going to show you real quick here what that will look like. And I'm going to refresh. And there we have the header has automatically been changed. Now, since this report is not pretty, you may want to export it to Excel to pretty it up, delete the lines that you don't want to use. So I'm going to click Excel, 
and then create new worksheet. Now this does look a little different than earlier editions. So you get to choose here if you have an existing workbook or a new workbook, similar to last time. If you do not have Microsoft Excel, you're going to want to choose comma separated values so you can open it with another uh, spreadsheet program like OpenOffice. And if you click Advanced tab, here are the other options, similar to what we saw in earlier editions. Um, so you can go ahead and choose what you want there and then click export and it will take you to excel thank you for watching that concludes our presentation for today